Happy Saturday, everybody. This is Pastor KZ. I'm doing a quick Saturday pop-in for you today. I am representing Florida A&M University, FAMU. I am representing a HBCU up in Tallahassee, Florida, FAMU. You all keep doing what you're doing. They're, they're known for the Marching 100 band from years and years ago. So let us support our HBCUs. And as again, I say I am repping Florida A&M University from the great state of Florida in our nation's capital, Tallahassee, Florida. Now for this Saturday pop-in, if I want to say something, and I want to give you a quote since it is Black History Month. And the quote says, if you fall behind, run faster, never give up, never surrender and rise up against all odds. And that quote is from Reverend Jesse Jackson. And on this Saturday's pop in, I just want you to, to glean from this. Remember last Saturday when I mentioned feeling emotionally numb, dis distant, detached, just the loss of interest. Can I just bring this out on this Black History Month? Have you lost interest in what's going on in our country as a people? Have you just lost interest? Do you feel like you don't matter? Your vote don't count? It doesn't matter what we go to the polls and vote on. They're going to do it the way they want to do it. Have you lost interest in our society? Our culture has been shaken to the core. Our culture has been taken. Think about our history, the way we dance, the way we sing, the way we dress, the way we wear our hair. There have been cultural vultures out there who don't look like us, don't like us, don't believe in our dreams and vision, and don't support us, but yet they want our culture. Nobody want to say nothing. I have subscribers of all ethnicities from all over the world. I have subscribers from the UK, from the continent of Africa. I have subscribers from China, all over. And this is no knock on you all because I got nothing but love for everybody. But since it is African Heritage Month, I'm going to talk about some, some very difficult things that you might feel uneasy with hearing, but it is the truth. Our history is important. We matter. When we say black lives matter, that is not to say all lives don't matter. That is not what we were saying. All we wanted to do was to be heard, to be recognized, to be validated that we matter also. We are a forgotten group of people who are overlooked, underappreciated, just denounced, mistreated, mishandled. And all we are saying is, we matter also. So when brother, when Reverend Jesse Jackson say never give up, never surrender, and, and sometimes that is hard for you to do when you constantly feel that someone is suppressing you or oppressing you and someone is trying to keep you down. Someone don't want to see you elevated. They only let you get elevated just so much. And as they say, and I heard this quote, they will bring you up only to knock you down. Now, you look at a lot of people in the entertainment business and the entertainment field. You all saw the Oscar slap last year with Will Smith and Chris Rock. You saw that. That was nothing but a way to humiliate both brothers. You all have seen what has happened to, to, to Bill Cosby and the list goes on and on. But you know what? Why are these people not given second chances when you hear about so many other people? Rowan Polanski, I'm going to say his name. This man was a pedophile. This man killed people. This man did a lot of horrific things, but they still gave him a second chance and still gave him an Oscar. You know, you got the Mel Gibsons of the world. Had one of the most highest ranked movies ever in The Passion of the Christ that many races went and supported. And he literally cut down other races of people. You got to understand, when Jesse, Reverend Jesse Jackson says, never give up, keep running, keep rising up, 
We have to keep doing this. Why do we have to fight for everything we get? Why do we have to literally go to the bank and beg for a loan? Why do we have to have three times the income just to get an apartment? Why do the closing costs cost so much for our people? Y'all don't look at that. You go walk into the credit union and ask for a loan. Sometimes you ask for less than five grand and they want to rake you through the crows with the credit scores and all this. Good credit, good credit. When you know somebody just walked in there with a full 20 credit score and they just got a $25,000 loan. I've seen it happen, people. I've seen it happen. Because somebody in the bank knew somebody else and it was somebody else's uncle and the paperwork got signed. Mm. Y'all don't want to talk about it because it's the truth. But on this Saturday pop-in, I want y'all to open your mind, get refocused people, understand we as a people matter. This world, it, it, it's not our home. Thank God there's a better place than this world for those of us who believe in that. Some of you don't, and that's okay still. I got love for you. But all I'm saying is we need to rise up, as Reverend Jesse Jackson say. But how you rise up is clearly up to you. Have a wonderful Saturday, and I will see you back for a word for today on tomorrow. Remember, please hit the thumbs up button, like the video, share the video, and comment. All this month, I am going to be talking about black history. I'm going to be repping some HBCUs. So keep, keep, keep hope alive, as Reverend Jesse Jackson always say. Things are not that bad. We have come a long ways, but y'all, we got a long way to go. And in some aspects, we have regressed as a people. We got to do better. And that would be my thing for the whole month. We got to do better as a people. Stop waiting for somebody to come in and rescue you and save you. We need to pull ourselves up, as Brother George Washington Carver say, by our bootstraps, and we got to go get it out the mud ourselves because they, they're not going to give it to us. Everything we get, we have to earn it. Let's go get it. The education is there. Take advantage of the opportunities that's out there, young folks. You can do it because you're some very smart young people. You are innovative. You are creators. You are very talented. There's nothing that you can't do. Just don't let them tell you that you need them to validate you. Love on yourself. Have a wonderful Saturday. See you tomorrow.